Hello guys, my name is Daniel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a full screen code box project with no console window. So, first things first is to open up code box. Just, I guess, open it up, give it a couple of minutes to open. Then, after code box is completely loaded, go up here to File, New, Project. Make sure it's a console application and click Go. Now select C++, give your project a name, I'm just going to name mine temp, and give a new folder. So as you can see, I created a new folder on the desktop, and I'm going to put it into there. It doesn't matter what the folder name is or anything like that, as long as you make a new folder so that you don't have any cross-contamination from other stuff, your project will work perfectly. Now press next, don't click anything over here, we don't need to mess with the compiler for now and click finish. So as you can see nothing popped up. Usually when you create a C++ file you'll have the file open up but since we created a project we don't have it on here. Let's go back to our desktop you'll see that we have now a new folder open it up or I mean for you it'll be wherever you save it but I saved mine to my desktop. Now go over here and cl double click on this project file. As you can see now it'll say the project name over here and then code blocks and your version number. That's how you know you're inside of the project tab. That will be important for when we're trying to remove the console window later. So what if you double click on this and it says what program do you want to open this with? Well that means you haven't set up your um, I guess code, your targets for opening up, program, uh, opening up these files correctly. You're going to want to right click it right click click on open with and then click on more apps because Windows 10 and look on another app on this PC and go to your local drive go to program files x86 into code blocks and just select this code blocks executable over here don't select anything else just code blocks now you can do the same thing for this file this uh, .cpp file and if it shows up like this with the little C++ logo over here and the little code box logo, that means you've set this up correctly. Now, just right click on the .cpp file and you'll have your main. This is, it's called main.cpp, but this is basically just your normal C++ file. You'll be able to do everything that you do inside of a normal program here. Just when you click run, it'll, inside of this project, it'll only run main.cpp. Any other stuff that you have open, it won't run. So watch, I'm going to open my presentation code, and if I click run, it's just going to ignore the presentation code and run the main.cpp uh, over here. So I'm going to close out of this, and I'm going to start copying the code from over here. So first things first, to make sure that you have the full screen window popping up correctly, you just need to write, uh, write, just copy this code. All of it will be in the description, but make sure that your yes, libraries are set up correctly and your int main and all of that is still there. Now just copy this SF render window. That will be the part of the program that actually determines what type of program it is. So this will determine if it's full screen or not. As you can see, after we have our window name we have a comma and an SF style uh, colon colon full screen this will set it to full screen and it'll just work a little bit better now I've noticed that in code blocks you often get a little bit of tearing if you're running in full screen mode and you have a frame rate higher than 60 FPS so make sure you set this vertical sync enabled to true and then you set your frame, la uh, frame rate limit to 60 FPS there you go now we're going to want to go back into here, take our sample object over, drop it back into here. And now we just want to grab our while loop and our little place where the window and all of our draws and keyboard stuff is. And we're just going to drop it into here. So one important thing to that you absolutely need for a full screen program is th this little 
little thing of code over here that basically makes sure that when you press escape, the program closes and doesn't just stay open forever until you force quit it in, uh, I guess, in uh, the task manager. So now we're going to run it. We get a full screen window. But since uh, my screen is, I guess, 1080p by 2560, it look a little bit distorted, but if you're running this on a 1920 by 1080 display, you'll have no issues. It'll look perfect. So now we're going to press escape, and as you can see, the program closes, but we still have this console over here, and that's kind of annoying when you're closing and relaunching the program a lot. You have to exit both of these twice. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go up here to project, properties, go into build targets, and change our type from console application to GUI application. Press OK. And now let's launch it again. Press Escape. And as you can see, no console window. But let's say you're trying to get the console window because you need to debug or for some other reason. What you could do is go back up here to Project, Properties, and change the build target from type to uh, from GUI application back to console application but another method to do it is to close code blocks make sure you save everything yes go and reopen your main separately let's wait for our code blocks to load and now that you've loaded up without loading the project as you can see up here it just says main.cpp it doesn't say temp in uh, the little brackets we can now run it and the window. So now we have this. If I press escape, we still have the console window for debugging. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial has been helpful in whatever you need to accomplish.